The next question says, a ray of light falls on the surface of a spherical paperweight making an angle alpha with the normal and it's refracted in the medium at an angle beta. The angle of deviation of the emergent ray from the direction of the incident ray is. Now if you understand this, this is the spherical paperweight and I can say this is the normal. So we can consider this to be the incident ray making angle alpha. So when it goes from one medium to another medium, it bends and I can say it makes an angle beta. Now if we consider this as the center and draw a perpendicular, which is the radius, this angle also can be called as beta because this is the radius, this is the radius. So for this triangle, it becomes an isosceles triangle where both the angles will be equal. And moreover, when the ray passes over your outside, it is going to be alpha again because when the ray of light goes from medium 1 to medium 2 and the angle changes from alpha to beta so if the ray of light goes from medium 2 to medium 1 the angle will change back from beta to alpha so now if we extend this incident ray and the emergent ray we can say this is the angle of deviation which we are supposed to find now very clearly I can say this angle what you can see over here is going to be alpha minus beta and this angle will also be alpha minus beta and this delta is an exterior angle for this triangle so delta is going to be alpha minus beta plus alpha minus beta and that is called as two times alpha minus beta which is the final answer.